I have simulated an entire AI society during a zombie apocalypse using reinforcement learning so we can learn which skills are the most important to survive. Is it going to be shooting, running, looting or breeding? There will be three types of AI. The orange colored males, the purple ladies and of course the green zombies, each with their unique strengths and weaknesses. The main task for the male agents is to protect the other survivors by eliminating the zombies using their gun. But there can't be a flourishing society and a happy family without a little bit of manslaughter, can it? So friendly fire is turned on, lol. Orange agents can only shoot their guns if they have bullets, making them entirely dependent on the female agents, which can craft those bullets if they have enough materials. And that makes their job the most important as well as the most dangerous, because materials are only dropped when a zombie is killed, so our purple agents will have to carefully gather those while avoiding getting infected. Just like real life, an agent will go through different growth stages and when an agent eventually reaches reaches maturity, it will start, uh, well, getting horny. You can see how horny an agent is by the saturation of their color, and the more saturated it is, the more that agent wants to go and have fun with other agents. While I'm sure none of my viewers actually know that, I won't be the one to explain what kind of business happens between two horny adults when they meet. The result of that business meeting, however, is a newborn agent and a new member of the human society. Lastly, we have the zombie agents, which while being slower than humans, are able to reproduce rather fast. Whenever a zombie bites a human agent, that agent is transformed into a zombie as well, and this can spread exponentially fast, resulting in the demise of the entire humanity. The training was tough, and I had to restart it multiple different times until I found the best set of punishments and rewards for our agents, but eventually, after about 180 total hours of training, I think I got it. We will try out few different simulations and environments and we will start it with this one where 500 males, 500 females and only one zombie are spawned in the small area to simulate the typical zombie virus spreading in the city similar to movies like World War Z. From just one little zombie, the virus started spreading like a wave throughout the human population and it wasn't too long until everyone started panicking trying to run away while chaotically shooting in all directions. This looks awesome, doesn't it? By the amount of materials drop, we can safely assume that a good chunk of zombies was actually eliminated, but that was far from enough. The virus could not be stopped in time and now the zombies are chasing the remaining survivors until the entire world is infected. Here is another sped up simulation for you to enjoy. Talking about sped ups, when I need the AI to learn something faster, I just increase the time scale in the simulation, but when you want to learn something faster, you must find some good courses and I can help you with that thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Brilliant. Brilliant helps you improve on a daily basis with thousands of interactive lessons in math, science, programming, data analysis and AI. Each lesson on Brilliant is filled with hands-on problem solving, helping you develop one of the most important skills, critical thinking. Brilliant's first principle approach aids you in building knowledge and understanding from the ground up with courses and content crafted by award-winning teams of teachers and researchers. The Brilliant app allows you to learn easily right on your phone and whenever you have some spare time. Become a better thinker and problem solver by exploring cutting-edge topics like AI and learn more effectively with courses that highlight the most useful concepts in every subject. To try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash zuzeloops or scan the QR code on screen. Or you can click on the link in the description. You'll also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. Thanks to Brilliant for sponsoring this video and now let's get back to our cube society. I have 100 males, 100 females and 200 zombies spawned separate from each other. Turned out, distance is not too big of an issue for horny humans and they started multiplying from the very beginning. The tranquility, however, was soon shattered once the boys took their first shot, killing more than half of their fellow fighters in friendly fire. 
The thing is, I find it quite difficult to get a perfect balance for friendly fire punishments. If you have too large of a punishment, the agents will be too hesitant to shoot. If it is too low, well, you can see what happens then. With the majority of the male population unalived, it was just a matter of time until the zombie virus started spreading. To be fair, the remaining fighters had a decent attempt at surviving by clustering together in the corner of the map and shooting at advancing zombies, but unfortunately for them, the virus was spreading faster than that and soon, once again, the entire population was doomed, with only one female survivor left hiding away from the zombies. I then tried to significantly increase the friendly fire punishment, and while the amount of unfortunate casualties got significantly less, the outcome was mostly the same. Despite putting up a much better fight this time, the orange cubes got surrounded once all the purple ones got infected. But what if there wouldn't be that many purple cubes to get infected in the first place? Let's now simulate an environment where only one female cube is left and there are 100 males to protect it and fight for its attention against 200 zombies. What could possibly go wrong? Well, the zombies started pushing and if we ignore some friendly kills here and there, the orange cubes are doing a fairly decent job at defending from the zombies. The zombies did eventually manage to break through the defense lines and I already thought that this is going to be the end, but somehow through sheer power of will, the orange cube successfully pushed all the zombies back. All the zombies but one. And this one zombie was able to turn the tides of war all by himself. As you can remember, the only way to get more bullets is for purple cubes to craft them. And since the only one has been eliminated, our boys ran out of ammo. Don't ask me why the other half of the zombies is just chilling there, I have no clue. This kind of stuff happens every time I have hundreds of AI agents. It might be due to some limitations of the ML agents package or just poor training from my side. Anyways, they are not required because that one little fella is successfully infecting his way through the defense lines, forcing the remaining survivors to break formation and scatter across the map. At the beginning, I thought it is an easy win for the zombies, then once the orange cubes pushed them off, I was sure humanity is gonna win. But once they ran out of bullets and ways to get them, it became obvious that the humanity is doomed. This was a true roller coaster of emotions, unlike that simulation where the roles were switched and they had one male cube and 100 female cubes against 200 zombie cubes. Well, lastly, I wanted to try and have one orange and one purple cube against 1000 zombies, but the fighter would have unlimited ammo and a machine gun instead of a pistol. Having so much power corrupted the brains of our survivor, making him spin in circles, destroying everything around him, even the other survivor. While our spinny boy here is having fun, I would like to take a second to thank my Patreon subscribers who support the channel. You are the legends. Thank you. As dumb as it is, it looks kinda nice, so I wanted to try and spawn him in the middle of the zombie horde, but um, yeah, he didn't do too well in there, lol. Initially, I was planning on releasing an AI Wars video this week, and if you are on Discord, you might already know that my PC broke. I am unable to boot it anymore and turns out the issue is a Microsoft update for Windows 11 that corrupts your OS. I am trying to get it fixed and most importantly to save the projects I have on the corrupted SSD, but while you wait for me to repair it, check out this other video I made where AI learns to escape a prison while avoiding getting smashed by falling burning cubes. Bye.